Hello everyone, this is the Tetsujin, aka Ronin, Japanese not accurate samurai mod. Uh, this is about the mod, added samurai-like faction, join or conquer them. This is not intended to be a Japan accurate, but is inspired from samurai equipment. This is for 1.8.0 installation tutorial. So, those who are familiar with my tutorials, you can go right, right ahead and listen, but if you're new, pay attention. What we're going to do here is first is go to your Mountain Blade Banner Lord on Steam. If you're on Epic or other platforms, good luck. So for us, we're going to go to Properties here. Once we're in Properties, we're going to go to Betas. We're going to scroll down to 1.8.0, click on that. It's going to install the beta. What you want to do after that is go to Properties again. Go to Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files. And if you are coming off of a previous mod uh, playthrough or whatnot, uh, go into your module folders and make sure everything is deleted. Not in terms of native, but make sure like, other mods are uninstalled, just for simplicity's sake. So while this is downloading and installing for you, uh, you can visit Nexus Mods. You can search for Tetsujin, just type in Tetsujin or AKA Ronin by Genrev0914 or Genrev Poggy. Uh, it is once again for 1.8.0, so you can click on Files, you can click on here and click on Manual Download. You can use Mod Manager Download from Nexus Mods, but once again, I always recommend using a manual download. Once it is manually downloaded, you can have this file to my left right here. What you want to do is right click on properties, click on the option unblock, which I did before. Once it is unblocked, click OK. Next, open up with your WinRAR or 7-zip and extract to your location, your desktop or your file folders. You're going to end up with two files, native and Tetsujin. So next. Once we have our Bannerlord installed, verified, mod, downloaded, unblocked, extracted, what we're going to do is click on Properties. Click on Local Files, we're going to click on Browse. What we're going to want to do is click on Modules. We do have Native and Tetsujin. So we're going to highlight Tetsujin and Native. And we're going to replace all the files it does overwrite. Next, on the official page, it is, I believe it does not give a specific mod order to this being launched. So what we're going to do is just keep it as standard, probably put it above birth and depths options if that came included, I'm not sure. This is new to 1.8.0. Once again, it's just base does not require harmony from what I believe, like most other mods. Now we're going to launch the game to confirm that the installation was correct. Um, it might only work in sandbox only mode, not campaign. So we will text on sandbox once it loads. If it loads. We'll be back when it does. Right as I click pause to jump cut, it actually loads. Absolute joke. Unlike this mod, it isn't as big as other mods, so you couldn't really tell it's properly installed because of the background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on sandbox and load in and click on N to check out trip trees. Once that is installed, we know it works. And this is my first run of 1.8.0, so everything's gonna take a little bit longer than normal. Obviously, we're gonna skip the scene. We do have the Tetsujin, so we do know that it is installed, whether or not this is a bug or a problem our end. Uh, recruiting, whatever, we're gonna click next, next. And we can tell the assets do work and load. Once again, we are just going to click on random stuff here just to get into the game and the checkout troop trees. 
So it is using the default map. And we click on N, go to Kingdoms. You have Tetsujin Kingdom led by Hanzo. We know that loads. And let's go to Troop Trees and go to Soldiers under Tetsujin. And then we have the Tetsujin Unit Trees. And because they can load with no asset problems, the mod has successfully installed. Let's just enter a town. Sometimes that does cause a crash. Once again, no, it is not. Um, and let's go find out where Tetsujin actually is spawned. In the right side of the map. Other than that, this tutorial is completed. The mod has successfully installed and we prove that this installation method does work. If you have any other problems, leave something in the comments down below. Or if you have a mod that you can get working and you need a tutorial for, let me know down below in the comments. So stay tuned and enjoy.